Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's English work. Last week we were really impressed by all the lovely work you sent in, inspired by the book The Snail and the Whale. So this week we thought we'd carry on using this book as inspiration but focus specifically on the animal, the whale. We're going to do some writing which is factual writing, which you might also call non-fiction writing. So it's all about real things, real facts and things that have really happened. So our task today is going to be to complete a mind map about a whale. So you can choose which kind of whale you're going to research. How many different types of whales can you think of with your grown up? Pause the video now and see how many you can think of. How did you get on? Here are some different kinds of whale. The humpback, the minke, beluga, fin whale, narwhal and orca. And the one I'm going to use as my example is the beluga whale. So I've got my sheet ready to take notes on the beluga whale. I'm going to do some research. First, I looked at the UK whale website. Lots of interesting information here. I found out that they can smile and eat fish. I found out that they live in the uh, Arctic Ocean and they live in groups called pods. I also read here, you can see that they are mammals like we are and they're carnivores, so they eat meat and fish. Finally, I really liked this fact that a whale can turn its neck in all directions, unlike other whales, so that's an interesting fact. Finally, I looked at YouTube and found some more facts about beluga whales and watched a couple of videos. I think it's time now for me to write up those notes onto my note sheet. So here's my mind map all ready to go. And I've organised it with some headings so that I can put the information that I read on the internet into different areas. So the first heading says, what are whales? Then I've got, where do they live? What do they do? What do they look like? and space for any other facts. So pause the video now and tell your grown-up what I need to remember to include in my writing. Did you remember all the things we need to include? Capital letters, clear finger spaces, sounding out really carefully, nice neat handwriting and full stops when we're writing in full sentences but we're actually just going to be writing notes, so they're just going to be short phrases today. But I still need to use my sounds really carefully and make sure I form my letters really neatly. So I'm going to start with this heading. What are whales? Hmm. Do you remember that we read that they are mammals? So I'm going to put that as my first word. Mammals, my first note. M-a-m-ls. Mammals. Whales are mm, ah, mm, mm, ah, mammals. Yes, whales are mammals. And let's see what shall we go on to next. Let's go on to where do they live? Do you remember where they live? These beluga whales, they live in the Arctic Ocean. Arctic Ocean. Arctic. Ar in the Arctic Ocean. I think I could just about fit in ocean here. So that you can see it. Ocean. The Arctic Ocean, brilliant. Yes, they live in the Arctic Ocean and they also live in pods as well. I'm gonna put that with where as well. But they also live in pods. That's the name of their group. So you might know that we'd say a flock of birds, but we wouldn't say a flock of whales, we'd say a pod of whales. We'd say a group of people but for whales, we call those groups pods. Nice special word. Uh, what should we go to next? Let's go for what do they look like? What do they look like? Well, they're, 
they're white aren't they i've had to get drawing one here they're white and kind of gray blue and they are the smallest of all the whales as well they're quite small and they're white and they've got that big forehead um i think i'll put smallest because there's a smallest whale and white those are two important things all all small est they're the small est of the whales the smallest and they are white 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 oh i think there's a split digraph in here Wha silent h Wha i made by the i split e Wha i t Wha i t they are white brilliant so what's left to do what do they do oh what do they do well, they like to play and they make those clicking sounds i remember seeing that in one of the videos Oh, and that fab fact that they can turn their heads in all directions. That's a good one as well. So I might put um, what they can do where they can smile and eat fish. And I want to put that super fact over here that they can turn their heads in all directions. Okay, so what do they do? Well, they've, they've got great expression. This whale, the beluga whale, can actually smile. And they also like to eat, eat fish. Eat fish. Mm, I like to eat fish too. Lovely. Uh, fab fact, yes, that one, the fact that they can turn their head in any direction and they make clicking sounds. Uh, mm. 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 Heads, they can turn their heads and, oh yes, they make those clicking sounds. K Ooh, ickle, ick. Click, ing, ing, ing. They make clicking. They're just about breathing sounds. S ow. Mm. S sounds. There we go. There is my finished mind map. So I know that whales, what are they? They are mammals. Where do they live? In the Arctic Ocean and in pods. What do they do? They smile. They like to eat fish. What do they look like? Well, they're the, the, they're the smallest of the whales and they are white. A couple more fab facts. They can turn their heads and they make clicking sounds. So that's my mind map all about beluga whales done. It's now time for you to choose which whale you're going to research and have a go at finding out lots of super facts about the whale of your choice. On the website, you'll find a sheet that looks like this. So if you'd like to, you could use this to put your picture of a whale in the middle and the facts that you find around the edge. Here are some more ideas of where you can go to do your research. So we've got National Geographic's Kids, that's a great website. Again, the UK Whale and Dolphin uh, conservation website. Even going on to iPlayer, if you can find Blue Planet, there's lots of information there on whales. And uh, an episode of Octonauts has some information on whales too. On the iPlayer, I just searched whales and I've just highlighted some programmes you might like to watch for your research. Good luck! There's lots and lots of information out there, so with your grown up, I'm sure you can find out a lot about your favourite kind of whale.
I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. I'm looking forward to seeing which kind of whale you choose to research and make your mind map about. Good luck with the task and I look forward to seeing it in your emails later. Bye.